so I take a shower. Shit. Jada. Shampoo. That already kicks a big hole in the time fog. Yeah. Oh, I'm so turned on by this exotic Laotian marijuana that I get back under the mosquito net and slither onto my sleepy gods again. And <laughs> we hump until the sun also rises over VNT. I don't know how evolved we are. Rainbow's just 19. I'm 24. But what I do now is that fuck around mornings like this are heaven on earth. <laughs> And for sure, we're not hurting anyone. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, something's scratching on the door. Oh, uh, Opium Dragon. Yeah, come on in. Opium Dragon walks in uh, with his own bamboo bong, which he places on our bedside table, heaped with my Laotian super weed. Yeah. Uh, Dragon worked undercover for the French Secret Service in Laos for eight years. Uh, and, but as the hippies started coming up here, uh, he just couldn't pull the trigger anymore. And uh, so the French Secret Service had to cut him loose. And as far as they're concerned, France is concerned, Opium Dragon does not exist. Wow. Wow. Uh, you know, non-existence. <laughs> no existence, no pressure. Oh, yeah. You don't have to be a separate, standalone identity trapped in an optical illusion that you are alone against a dangerous and wicked universe. Oh, no. Get rid of that separate illusion and like opium dragon <sighs> relax and enjoy all the fantastic life around you why <laughs> because it is you yeah well uh we blow the morning away mm -hmm. swapping travel stories because we're young free exotic explorers and we've got tales to tell favorite pastime of ours. So uh, Opium Dragon tells us about uh, wandering north of the Mekong River. And we're just north of the Mekong right now. <laughs> so uh, yeah, Golden Triangle. Mm -hmm. He wanders into the remote areas where you can only get to by boat. For example, I was just up in Luang Prabang in the far north of Laos. Uh, and from there, you take a minivan about four hours to Nong Khao. And then the only way to go further is to get into a longboat, a skinny, glorified, extended canoe with a small motor off the back. And get up to those hill tribes, fantastic. They live off the country land. Uh, the hunters hunt with century old single shot rifles to capture animals, birds. And, but, I mean, Opium Dragon, his ace in his hand is that he speaks Lao with a local accent. So uh, the villagers welcome him. Kind of like a, charism a charismatic Zadu would be welcomed into a village in India. Yeah, wandering from tribe to tribe, straight into the opium hut. <laughs> uh, unrelenting wilderness uh, beyond Vientiane. Pure, free people. Mm -hmm. Well, oops, uh, the uh, Pothet Lao. The enemy of the Americans and France. <laughs> but not to Opium Dragon. They capture him. But they, just, they just capture him so he'll tell them stories around the campfires at night. Hey, 
It's not that much fun being a soldier, one of these freaks gone native to hang out with. And <laughs> look, he's packing the finest opium pipe in the Golden Triangle. What am I trying to say? Uh, thank you, opium. Oh, okay. Is that earth freaks go where armies fear to tread. The, the hippies in the next bungalow uh, are headed for Luang Prabang that is totally surrounded by communists, <laughs> indoctrinated humans that want to kill them. Uh, they're hitchhiking. Sure. And they'll make it. I mean, we hippies are doing boat trips up and down the Mekong River all the time. I mean, we don't care. Pothet Lao, Royal Lao, leftover French colonial scum missionaries, uh, American mercenaries. Look, we're pure earth enthusiasm. Enthusiasts, yeah, and we're tripping. A lot. On pure psychedelic. We have priorities. Tripping. Making the, the whole world is our bed. Yeah. Uh, simply to explore and savor our fantastic home planet. Yeah. Ah. Uh, well, by now, uh, the sun sun's coming up. Uh, so, Rainbow Dragon uh, and I split the love shag <laughs> for a former French cafe. I mean, the French got their asses wasted and kicked out of the country. Threw a few crumbs for the Americans to try to recolonize the Asians. Didn't work out, did it? Uh, yeah, but fortunately they left their baguettes behind. Long, skinny loaves of French bread, baguettes. And a few French goodies. So, uh, yeah, uh, give us a baguette. Mm, warm, aromatic. Uh, three glasses of uh, chilled red wine. Riverfish, give us a, a large uh, fresh-caught Mekong riverfish. Yeah, whole fish. The whole fish and uh, a beautiful salad, uh, you know, salade francaise. And of course, a loaf of that mysterious French bread. Baguette.